impact over the depletion of forests in the country. The Task Force on Forests and Logging Activities says the KFS board should be held culpable over the plunder of forests. The, new, the team wants the new KFS board constituted. Rita Tinina has details of the report and tells us why a sealed envelope with details of individuals involved in illegal logging activities appears to be a sensitive issue. Today is our last day, that is. Two months after it was set up, the Task Force on Forest Resources Management and Logging Activities completed its mandate, handing over its report to the Environment Cabinet Secretary, Keriako Tobiko. Alongside the report came a sealed envelope containing details of those involved in illegal logging. This document, together with any evidentiary material, will be forwarded to the Anti-Corruption uh, Ethics and Anti-Corruption Commission. The Environment CS and Task Force Chair would not delve into the contents of the envelope, but it was clear not everyone was happy with the Task Force and its report. There are those who are playing politics with the findings of this task force. Those who had skeletons in their cupboard to hide tried as best as they could to scandalize and disparage uh, this team. With the country struggling to increase its forest cover, the task force in its report says the Kenya Forest Service is squarely to blame for the depletion of forests in the country. They have seen wanton destruction of our forests, have systematically executed plunder and pillage, pillaging of our water towers. The report cites deep-rooted corruption, poor management of commercial forest plantations, direct award of forest materials to sawmillers without open tendering, and introduction of irregular settlements as key contributors to the plunder of forests. And the task force is recommending some radical measures. The cabinet secretary for forestry should expedite the process of constituting a new KFS board. The report also recommends the constitution of a caretaker team to perform the functions of the KFS, investigations and prosecution of former KFS board members, banning of logging of cedar trees and use of cedar products such as fencing posts. It also wants quarters removed from forests, the facing out of the Shamba system, and the streamlining of the issuance of timber licenses. The government says it will in the next 10 days come up with an implementation plan for the recommendations. This report has no shelves to be kept. Many task force reports are gathering dust on government office shelves and how the government handles this one could make all the difference to the country's dwindling forest cover. Rita Tinina, KTN News.